officials, Bob Myers, the referee, and John D'Amico and Bob Luther are the linesmen. Glenn Hanlon starting in goal for the New York Rangers, and Glenn has been playing absolutely super hockey as you look at his record so far this year. Five and two and zero in his last seven starts. And in goal for the Blackhawks, Tony Esposito, there's his record this year, lifetime against the New York Rangers, 21 wins, 18 losses, 11 ties with a 3.04 goals against average. And we're just about ready for this hockey game. Both these teams, of course, this is an important game. Chicago in a tie for second in their division. And the Rangers battling now, watching Washington coming from behind. Philadelphia up on top, and on top of everybody, the Islanders, of course. Erickson with a puck down across the red line and sends it in. We'll be interested to find out how this game starts tonight. Savard did not play all that well in Madison Square Garden. He was just a great hockey player instead of outstanding and great. Back towards the line. Rangers in possession and will come out slowly here. The word about Savard is, Jim, that he plays a lot better at home. Here's Sear with the puck and Savard. Sears in front. Shot save. Dead on shot. Good save. Rebound goes right out. Shot by Wilson. Knocked away in front. What a save. That first one was a dandy. Perfect concentration by Hanlon early in the game. Rangers trying to break out. Rutzelein and down across the red line. Rutzelein and carrying in for a drop to Erickson. Erickson is surrounded. Two men on him being checked from the far side. Rich Preston on him along with Doug Wilson. Savard down across the red line again. Throws one in high on Hanlon. He can't quite get to it. That was very high. Willie Huber back to the right side of Glenn. Huber throws one across. Left side for Laidlaw. Almost hit Myers. It hit, did hit him, as a matter of fact. And he said hit somebody on the Ranger bench as well, so we'll be getting a face-off in the Rangers' end. I must have hit Ronnie Gressner, who's standing up, getting ready to come on. Steve Larmer, an outstanding hockey player for the... Chicago Blackhawks, his brother Jeff, if you remember correctly, his brother, brother Jeff plays for the Devils. There's the Patrick Division standings, as Jim was talking about, the Islanders. You see Philadelphia only four points behind. Yes, sir. Rangers in their own end. There is no score if you just joined us and come out along the right-hand side. Hedberg throws it into the right side of Esposito, around behind the net. Hedberg again. Hedberg tried to poke it away and could not. Blackhawks capture, and Sutter comes down the center slot across the red line. They're throwing it in early on Hanlon and hoping for a rebound. McClanahan back for the Rangers. And Sutter trying to put it in front, and Hanlon will hold the puck on the side of the net. It's simple. Their, their strategy, it looks like to me so far, is just throw the puck in, go on in, and forecheck. And that's all they have to do. See where the Blackhawks there. That is a pretty tight division right now. Five points separating, or six points separating first and fourth. Detroit Red Wings are going to have to get their act in if they want to make the playoffs. This faceoff will be in the Rangers' end. Mike Rogers is there. There's Orville Tessier, the coach. I'll talk a little bit more about that man before the night's over. <laughs> Rogers and Gardner on the faceoff. Bill Gardner to the center for Chicago. Rangers have Don Maloney out there now. Along with Mike Rogers. Don will be going to the center slot. And Blaisdell is the other wing. Long time for the puck to be dropped. Bill Gardner is good on the faceoff. Boy, he hasn't moved. He hasn't even flinched out there. Don Maloney might get tossed out. No, he's just getting impatient. Linesman's got the right to drop the puck when a man does that, if he wants to. Blaisdell. Don. Rogers trying to backhand the pass in, ran right back out by the Blackhawks. Dave Maloney's on the puck. Knocked it away briefly. Don Maloney reaching for it, sent across by Boyd, back out the center zone. Coming right down the center slot now with the puck, Peter Marsh. Marsh forced to the sideboard by Greshner. This is Boyd, a shot at a little bit off target, a little bit too deep. Going to be a penalty to the New York Rangers. Looks like Mike plays down. And so, with 18 minutes and one second to go in period number one and no score, the Rangers will be facing a power play. We'll be back in just a moment. Mike Rogers got the penalty for hooking at 159. So the first power play of the game. This is Wilson at the blue line. Wilson sends it all the way across off the right side boards. It is back behind Murray. Wilson has to cut across with Pierre LaRouche of the red line. Larmer across the line, drop pass for Sutter. Sutter back to the right point. 
Intercepted in center and dropped back for Wilson. Uh -oh. Hooked away. Uh -oh. Dunstan's got the speed. Wilson got a piece of him to slow him down. He's got help in front. Shot by Erickson. Save. Boy, Wilson's got to get a penalty. Yeah, he's getting it. A dumb play by Dougie Wilson at the blue line. And Erickson came down, took the pass from Sundstrom, Black and just about beat Esposito on the right-hand side. Let's take a look at it. Here's the steal. Look at Wilson. He's sort of slow right there. John Davidson has just joined us in the booth. And John, that was a pretty good little flip pass there and almost beat Esposito on the, on the glove side. Yeah, they started the whole play, Phil, in the Rangers zone when they had Pavlich and LaRouche taking the faceoff. As soon as they won the faceoff, they went off. The two Swedes jumped on. Yeah. And with their aggressive penalty killing, got the play, and they almost scored on it. Pavlich and Hedberg are up front. Beck is back with Rutzelainen. Both teams are short of man, skating four aside now. Rangers eventually will have a very short power play of 29 seconds. Wilson for holding at 228 officially. Blackhawks and Rangers, four skaters on the ice. Keith Brown is here behind the net. Patterson over to the right side. Hedberg will get to the puck and takes a heavy check on the far side from Brown. Good drop pass with Tulainen. Pass in front of the backhand is kicked away. He Too had a many shot. Passes. He had a shot. Back Shoot out the to center zone. This is Gardner. And it's up into the Chicago bench. You know, I can never understand that. And I know her Brooks. I was talking to Brooks about it. He doesn't want those guys to pass the puck like that, Jim. And we've talked about Eddie John. I don't understand uh, that. You get a two-on-one situation, Phil. There's no need for more than one pass in the in the offensive zone. Make That's the right. pass. The other guy go to the net for a rebound. It was set up. It was made. And uh, Rutzelainen elected to pass it. Didn't even get a shot on goal. If you've just joined us, there is no score. 17 minutes and two seconds to go. We're in the first period. And each team has a man in the penalty box. Rangers have made some changes now. We'll pick them up as we go. Pavlich again on the draw. McClanahan reaches for the puck. Rutzelainen and Beck stay on the ice. Savard forcing his way down the left side. That's Sear in with him. Sear number 11. Beck, number five of the Rangers, up on McClanahan's side. Here's some speed of these two guys, and he put too far in front of himself. Just let himself a little bit too far. Savard is back. Savard dumps it to the right side. Return pass. Savard down the slot. Savard across the line. Savard, good moving. Sends it across. It could be a shot. Save! Boy, Glenn Hanlon came right out and challenged that pass as Barry Beck and Dennis Searer standing just to his right and Hamlin made the smart play there okay here's the pass O'Callaghan look at Barry Beck and look at Hamlin come right out and challenge him huh you see how far out he is but he had the complete view of the shot nobody standing in front of him Beck and the defenseman did a job and Hamlin held on to it for a face off Jack O'Callaghan the hand of Boston boy played in the 80 Olympics scored a goal last game against St. Louis here on the Winner power too. play <laughs> After the faceoff, the puck still in the Rangers' end. They'll try to work it out. The time of the penalty is 23 seconds now in the Ranger penalty, 50 seconds in Chicago's. Fake shot by LaRouche, knocked away by Gresham in the corner, and Boyd is back. Boyd, slowing down. Oh, oh bad pass, what O'Callaghan. Pass that was. O'Callaghan says, I don't want any part of that, and throws it back. It's not. The game plan for the Rangers tonight, guys, is going to be aggressive play in the, in the four-checking zone. They're going to try and send two guys in all night. Savard across the blue line. Savard going in deep with Sear. Round behind the net. Rangers get their man back. Power play Rangers. It's in front in their own end. Sunstrom coming down the left side across the red line. Drop out now. Roosh going in. Or Erickson feeds the right side to Greshner. Greshner in front. Score! Blake Rogers. Mike Rogers, all alone in front of the net, gets the pass from Ronnie Gresner and puts it in as Keith Brown and Don Maloney. It was a power play goal. Let's take a look at it. Pierre LaRouche over the blue line, over to Gresner. Now watch the left of your screen as Rogers comes in. Esposito goes down, and Rogers banks it off the goal post and in the net. And a score, one nothing for Mike Rogers, scores the goal. And for Rodgers, it's his 17th goal of the year. Rangers take the lead. This is Willie Huber coming back with some help from Tom Laidlaw. Seems to in at the goal line. The puck is picked back up toward the wing. Kept in play by DuPont. Laidlaw after the puck on the far side. Don Maloney is there at the same time. Good aggressive board checking by Chicago this time. Rodgers along the sideboards. Coming out on the right side. Blaisdell all by himself. Put it up, burst of speed on. Shot. Save. Almost had Esposito beat. 
Blaisdell with a burst of speed. Don Maloney sends it in front. No Ranger there. Boy, the Chicago defense are really, really bad in their own zone right now. They're out for a cup of coffee. Trying to put one in front. Oh, hard shot in the head. Willie Huber looks like he stepped on the puck and banged his head against the board. You are great. Mike Rogers scored uh, the 17th. It's his third power play goal. When you look at Willie Huber. Pierre LaRouche at 4. 14 minutes and 54 seconds to go. We're still in period number one, and the Rangers lead the Chicago Blackhawks by a score of 1 0, and we will be back. Willie Huber getting a nice back up behind his back as Robbie Fatorik's out there for the first time tonight. And battles it loose. Shot toward the net. Left hand side. Both teams have five skaters. Fatorik bangs it off the sideboard. Murray's got a shot from the line. Deflected in front. Penalty oh, yeah. coming up. Beck tackled his man in front. He took Sutter down. Oh, Hanlon boy. might have gotten hurt. Ludzik nailed Glenn Hanlon. Skated right through the crease and nailed him. I think Beck is gone. He's shouting. He had uh, taken Sutter down in front. Now, whether they called anything on the handling play, I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, watch the bottom of your screen. There's the penalty. Now, let's see. Uh-uh. It goes by, folks. You can't see it. Barry Beck is going to get interference at 516. Rogers' goal, by the way, was assisted by Greshner and LaRouche. And it's a power play goal. one nothing. Rangers. End of one. Detroit at Washington. 0-0. Face off, as you can see, is to the right side of Hanlon. Back out to Doug Wilson. He's got that potent shot from the blue line either side. Generally likes the left side. Sutter tries to put it in front. It's in the air, and Hanlon grabs it in the crease. The Blackhawks power play is overall 21.7%, but at home, they're 31.3%. That's almost 10% more. And on the road, they're a lousy 12.8. Boy, that's a difference in road and home, ain't you? I'll tell you, this is a great hockey stadium. I think this one at Madison Square Garden, much of a form all, all three are fun to play in. Yep. Big, loud crowd here. The, the stadium is packed again tonight, despite adverse weather. Buck is banged around the boards. Comes clean to center zone. Pass, Wilson. Rangers will change Pavlich now, and Rogers. That after the faceoff. This is a power play for Chicago. Murray moves in. Savard. He's got help in front with Larmer. He's got two men. Save! And finally a whistle. Larmer had the puck in front, but he, he shot it and it bounced over his stick. And then Willie Huber took him out. It was funny. Glenn Hanlon wasn't sure where the puck was because it came from behind the net, up over top. We'll be able to take a peek at it. But watch how Chicago are planting their people right in the crease area. They're going to give the big Ranger defenseman a, a run for the strength. Watch the puck slip up here. Look at right that. over top. Glenn oh. Hanlon falls for it. Huber takes the guy out. Blackhawk flares right in front of the crease. The puck ends up underneath Huber to cause a faceoff. They are trying to jam up that crease. On one, one minute and 29 seconds in the Chicago power play, and the puck is cleared just across. No, he kept it on the line. Wilson in the slot. Beautiful setup here, and they gave it up. Oh, did they have a setup for Savard? In the crease. Score! That one worked through to perfection. Laura puts it in. So this whole play was set up. Bob Murray kept the puck in from being offside. And they're able to keep the puck in and score a power play goal. That's right. Steve Larmer scores his 18th goal of the year and his 10th power play goal. Okay, here's the clap. Now, Larmer, over to Safard. Safard goes back to Wilson. Wilson goes back to Safard into the guy in the middle on the right-hand side of your screen. He just turns and fires right off the goalpost. A beautiful shot. But you see Sutter in front of that with Laidlaw? Screening Hanlon. So Larmer had a good, clean shot by Sutter. It is 1-1. Pavlich back behind the net. McClanahan sends one toward center zone. Shot from the blue line. Saved by Hanlon. Dead on. Hanlon is very sharp tonight. He might get in. Edberg slows down a bit, sets it up. Good pass. Left side, outside the net. McClanahan couldn't quite find the hole. Edberg shot the save. Oh, you don't dare take your eyes off the ice for a second tonight. Boy, both teams are blasting. 13 24 to go in the first period. 1 1 the score. Greshner back for the puck. Patterson's yes. right on him. On the far side, 14, Bill Gardner sends one down. Boy. And Boyd throws it in. Blaisdell with Pavlich and McClanahan now, the line for New York. Pavlich across the blue line. 
Patterson throws one ahead. Don Maloney in the corner. I beg your pardon, Ron Gresham in the corner, trying to get it out. Pretty good scramble going on there with Rich Preston. Pavlich trying to help out. Savard takes Pavlich. Finally, Don can't, does get to it. Shot on net. Whoa. There'll be a shot here. Save. Handling is very sharp. Boy, he's challenging every shot. Beautiful. Don Maloney and Greshner. And to Barry Beck. Greshner coming down the right side. Headman pass. Stopped at the blue line. Boyd tosses it back in his backhand. Oh, boy. Almost too many men there. You saw it. Struts line it. Trying to set up a rush, he can't do it, and has to drop back. Five skaters aside now. Beck's got room to move. It's going to be interesting to see how much Donnie Maloney plays tonight. He's got four different injuries, and That's he's right. also playing with a touch of the flu. The guy, to me, deserves a Purple Heart for just playing oh, the game tonight. Callahan today. coming in with Savard. Savard with Sear in front. Beautiful skating in front. Knocked away in front by Blaisdell. Good anticipation. Stolen from him by Larmer, and Beck clears. Murray reaches forward at the red line. Doug Wilson, both teams skating like mad tonight. Lomer again, good pass, shot towards the net, steered wide by Hanlon. There's Sutter going to the corner. Sutter centers one, LaRouche is there. LaRouche across the line. Onside, poked back by the Blackhawks. Wow. Excellent play. Lomer coming down the slot. He's got a shot, he passes up, Sutter, save! Sutter couldn't lift it and Hanlon got it. Lomer takes a heavy check on the sideboards by Huber. Centering pass in front. Holy mackerel. There's no time to even say anything. <laughs> Wilson comes back. No icing call. Almost halfway through the first period. Dave Maloney has the puck. He's got help. But shot save off LaRouche. And Esposito makes a dandy. A good stop right there by Esposito. Ten minutes and 55 seconds to go in the first period. The score is tied at one, and we will be back. 10.55 remaining, 1-1, both power play goals. Esposito has just made a good stop on Pierre LaRouche. Buck is in Chicago's end. Rangers have two men back. This is Feimster on the left side. He's pinned by Greshner. Solid check. Took Anderson out cleanly. Back to center zone. DuPont for the puck. Number 25, Jerome Dupont. And back in, that's a shot on goal. Greshner along the sideboard. Anderson trying to get it out. It caromed off the skates of Uremchuk. Greshner turns it around behind the net. Oh, Going to be a penalty. Oh. Dave Maloney got caught tripping in front, and he certainly did. Took Higgins down. And the Rangers will be defending against the power play again. That's right. Dave Maloney's going to get tripping, I believe. It'll be the call. By the way, the last power play will go Larmer from Savard and Dougie Wilson. So the power play is coming up with the score tied at one, and we'll be back. Fast face off. Chicago wins the draw. Backhand pass in front. Chop loose. Rangers might be able to break here. This is Pavlich in the left side. One man back. Through Gardner. Saved by Esposito. Going lefty. Saved right. Will penalty. Excuse me. Maloney for hooking at 9.35. Dave Maloney. Cross ice. Left side. Savard. Savard's got Sutter in front. That's where he stays. Good shot. Possibility. Saved. Hanlon anticipated the play. He was there. Wilson's got the shot. He'll pass it up. Savard. Three men in front for Chicago. Now they break it off. Wilson, there's nobody at right point. Savard. Wilson. Right wing. Both Sutter and Lommer in the slot. Double slot. One man high. This is Savard. Back to the high man. Why? Wilson not on net. Chopped at. Knocked loose. Lommer breaks off and goes for the puck. Nobody's in the slot now. Lommer drifting in. Lommer. Couldn't hold the puck. Rangers will break out. Maybe. Savard. Poked ahead by Erickson. You can see why Larmer's got a lot of goals. Boy, does he stand in that slot. Blackhawks coming right back in again with Savard. he got two men in the front again. Savard. Shot. Screen. Knocked away. Rebound wide. Save. Beck gets for the puck. Chicago really putting on a drive here. This is Brown. Brown shot. Save by Hanlon. And around behind him, and then it goes back upside to Le Savard. Savard, and takes it back again from Wilson. Savard, shot, save! 
Yuba can't clear. Preston takes his man down. Penalty Chicago on a save. Oh, boy. What a call this is. Preston is going to get two minutes for hooking Willie Huber. Uh, I'm a little debatable about this call. For maybe, sure. Maybe we'll get a look at it. Rich Preston goes in the penalty box. There are 12 seconds left to Dave Maloney's penalty and Dave Maloney's penalty. And then the Blackhawks will go on a penalty. Preston for hooking at 11.23. Oh, boy. We've had quite a first period so far. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. Roger scored at 419, power play goal. Then Larmer scored a power play goal. And that's what it is, 1-1 now. Face off to the right. Glenn Hanlon has been superb in that net so far. Out of town score, Detroit and Washington in the second. It's 1-1 in the second. Speaking of Detroit, Eddie Johnstone, more bad luck. He had a knee operation oh, no. today, well, oh, just a, an orthoscope type of a thing, a ligament problems. He's going to be out for at least a month. The good news, he's going to come to New York next week for a holiday. Good. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing him. There's the time remaining, 8.37. Face off deep in the Rangers zone. Gardner is there for the draw against Mike Rogers for the Rangers. Boyd is back at the left side. He gets the pass. Backhand in the slot, knocked down by Patterson. Rogers throws it to Gresham. Reshner just missed the pass on the left-hand side. Rooks the line and goes in after it anyway. Can't get it away from Keith Brown. Patterson double team knocked away. Gardner will get in. Rogers is back. Power play is on with the Rangers now. Rogers is out there with Reshner and Don Maloney. Rogers has to deep back. Don Maloney had not cleared, and we get an offside call. A minute and 33 seconds left on the power play. The Rangers going on the power play. Well, we, this is the first time I think we've had a chance to say what the Rangers' power play is and what have you and the rest of that stuff. It's been an unbelievable first period so far. The Rangers' power play is 27.1%, which is darn good. As long as you're over that 25%, I think that's excellent. They're fourth in the league, I think, on the power plays. One minute and 33 seconds to go. In the power play for the Rangers, eight minutes and ten seconds to go in the period. The Rangers and Blackhawks are tied at one. Pierre LaRouche. The Rangers have also scored five out of the last ten attempts on the power play also. They come up those two big ones against Chicago, of course, with Biggies. What a game. The intercept cleanly by Peter Marsh. Shot deflected. Dave Maloney got across. Marsh for checking on Dave. Reshman across the right wing. Here comes Pierre LaRouche with a nice move in the blue line. Pretty fast to himself. Got a man in the slot in Don Maloney, but the puck does not come to him. It comes back, as a matter of fact. Don Pierre. does a little judicious interfering. Fans thought there should have been a call. Pierre's got to take a look, Jimmy. He's going to pass that puck. He just threw it back to the point blind, and it cost him some time. Maloney throws it in. Uh, LaRouche tried to set up the slot. This is Gresham. Gresham holds. LaRouche is back at the point. Covering for Gresham. Don Maloney around behind the net. LaRouche knocks it down. Can't get the shot off. Dave Maloney has lost his stick. It is broken, so he'll go to the bench, and meantime, hey, the puck goes out of play. You know what? LaRouche has been having a lot of trouble with that stick right there. That was funny. First, he tried to make three passes. He made the bad pass back, and now he just flipped it out, and he stood there, and he's going, are you kidding me or what? I mean, what's happening? Hey, he, is a, he is a funny guy, I got to tell you. He is. He is. He went to the coach's office the other day and he drew a circle on the blackboard, a line underneath it, and a tree underneath that. And he says, what's this, coach? <laughs> coach Herb Brooks goes, I don't know. He says, well, it's really been cold in Montreal. It's three below zero. <laughs> <laughs> He's a crazy guy. Oh, boy. Detroit and Washington, 2-1 Detroit in the second period. The score here is 1-1, Rangers and Chicago. The power play continues for New York for 39 seconds. Reshner across to the left-hand side. Roots lining up for Hedberg. Hedberg reaching for the puck. It's knocked away by Wilson. He throws it up into the crowd, so we'll get another faceoff. And the Rangers still have 26 seconds remaining of their power play time. I, I think the Rangers, if they shoot it in, the Chicago defense looks like they're in a slumber or something right tonight uh, so far in this first period. And the Rangers throw that puck in. I, I think they're going to get a lot of chances. They were doing it well early. You know what Gresham's got with that assist tonight? That's 25 for the year. 
That's pretty good for a guy on a comeback trail. Rich Linen and Greshner are the point men for the Rangers on the power play. Up front, Hedberg along with Pavlich. And Erickson. Greshner draws double coverage. There's Hedberg breaking in, trying to scoop it in front and could not. Erickson has, is cut down behind the net. Greshner pitches in along the board. Rangers control with Pavlich. Pavlich backhand pass for Greshner. Rich Linen winds up. Can't get it away. Greshner will. High. Call it a save. I think it would have tucked under the crossbar. A good stop there and a shot by Ronnie Greshner from the point. The Rangers had that set up. And in front of the net, the Rangers were trying to block up there. And Tony, I think that Greshner shot it high because he figured uh, Esposito was going to go down. Oh, that's a definite case. They talked about that earlier. And uh, they said, listen, we're going to shoot the puck higher a little bit from the points. See that cage he's got right yeah. in front of his eyes there? That's a, a wire type of a cage on the top side of his mask. See what he just did with his hand at the bottom of his mask? Makes a little cross there. And I've been watching him on TV many times. That's right. That's got to be part of his superstitious act. Yeah, but he gives it to me that he says I'm not superstitious. <laughs> so how much pasta did you eat at his house last night? A lot. He spent <laughs> three hours working on his pads, John, by the way. He told me to tell you. <laughs> Shot on net. The power play ends. They're skating five aside. Pass laid long to center zone. Preston races for it, but Petorek gets there first. This is Willie Huber. That hits the Petorek. He's all right. Wilson is back for the puck. Wilson and Keith Brown, number four. Anderson is out for the Rangers now with Petorek on this line. And Mike Allison. Keith Brown. Brown's pass to Lomer. Save! What a stop. Excellent stop. Get back toward Brown. Allison goes into Brown. Lomer again. Sutter drifting through the crease area. Sutter's in the post. In front. And missed by Boyd. And he had an open net. An excellent play. Lomer. Way back beyond Sutter. That should be icing. Not ice, they sent back by Chicago. That's right. <laughs> New York never touched it. New York never touched the puck with such a clean pass back. 5.47 to go. This is Beck. And Ritzelainen. One of the few quiet moments we've had in this first period. It's wild. Is that the truth? Ritzelainen cutting through center zone. In the slot. Save! It's in! The light's on! Pierre LaRue scores the goal all by himself, cruising in on the right side in a beautiful cross-ice pass. I believe Erickson made that pass. You know, see, they, see, Blaise, see Blaise Dell on the blue line here. See him? He's holding himself on side. A good play. Yep. And that results in part of the play of the goal. Look at Boyd. He doesn't know where he's going right there. He should have that man. What a fine setup by Rutzelainen. Okay, Rutzelainen makes the pass. As John was talking about, Erickson was at the blue line. The pass over to LaRouche. And bango, it's 2-1 New York Rangers. And for Pierre LaRousse, that's goal number 24. LaRousse Alina will get one assist. And we'll wait and see who else gets the assist. That's the first even strength goal of the period. Both uh, goals before this one were power play goals. Five minutes, 27 seconds left in the first period. Savard at the red line, puts one ahead. Giver. And this time the signaling icing. Definitely a New York fast back. Oh, O'Callaghan gets to the puck. The icing is official. Two on the score. Rangers, 5-14 to go. We'll be back here in just a moment. Okay, LaRouche gets the goal. It's 24th, assisted by Rutzelainen. And I thought Barry Beck also got an assist, but we'll wait. Get official on that. Glenn Hanlon has been sparkling. There's no shot clock we can see here, but it seems to me he, that the Rangers have really been outshot heavily in the period, and Hanlon made a difference. We'll take a guess at the end of the period again. Okay. Don Maloney's in the corner. O'Callaghan riding him out. Wilson gives it away almost. Blackhawks have a free wing on the left side, and Sear with Savard controlling the puck. They crisscross at the line. Drop pass for Wilson. Right side, deflected. O'Callaghan across in front, knocked away, and Huber's there. It's oh, a three boy. Up. Penalty on a trip behind the puck. I didn't see it. That was an awful call also by Bob Myers. In any event, 4.46 to go in period number one. The Rangers are leading by one. Power play coming up. Blaisdell gets a tripping penalty at 15-14. And you'll have to take my word for it. It was a pretty good dive by Dennis Savard. We caught you eating a peanut, didn't we? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Time remaining, 446, Rangers 2, Blackhawks 1. Won a power play goal by Mike Rogers. 
And then the Blackhawks tied it up in the power play. Now they go on the power play again for the third time tonight. Rangers have Beck and Huber as the back liners. That shot was on net from the Ranger blue line all the way down ice. Up front for the Rangers on this particular shift, Erickson and Sundstrom. Murray calling the signals behind the net. Wilson coming down. Doug Wilson centers. Knocked away from Savard. Sundstrom almost had it. Sutter is in deep. He's got help in front. Behind Lommer. Two men in front again. Sutter and Lommer as usual. Savard makes it three men in front. Back to the only point man, Doug Wilson. Murray deep. Murray waits for Sutter to get free. Sutter hook checked away by Erickson. Big hook check away by Erickson. Boy, Willie Huber's involved tonight. You heard the hit. Beautiful skating by Erickson. Save! A sneaky fast shot from Erickson through Wilson. 3.46 to go. Tom Laidlaw. We're in period one. Power play for the Blackhawks is 54 seconds to go. Rogers onside. Laidlaw to Rogers. Rangers are doing a good job in this one. Yeah. 40 seconds in the power play. Chicago has the extra skater. They've got good penalty killers now, Bill. Just not one penalty killing team, two and maybe two and a half Rangers. They do have a lot of good penalty killers. Rogers is out there now and sends it the length of the ice. Donnie Maloney would be ordinarily be out there, but he's got that flu. A lot of other guys don't play when they have the flu. Sundstrom, Anderson. Erickson, Pavlich, all good. Rogers, poke checked away by Laidlaw. Pavlich has the puck. He's got Don Maloney with him. He crisscrosses. Don's on the ice now. Tries to get the backhand away. Penalty is over. Rangers have their five skaters back. Brown is surrounded by Pavlich. Blaisdell knocks it loose. Don Maloney's got the puck. He's got help on left wing. Pavlich, Blaisdell's on the right wing. Pavlich shot is wide. Karen off the skate in front. Pavlich again. Pavlich sets it up. Coming back to the center zone. No, that's about the third or fourth three on two the, Bla the Rangers have had in the last 10 minutes. Rest along the sideboard. Randy Boyd ahead of Feimster. Feimster and Gresham. Don Maloney. Pavlich. Gresham. Around behind the net. Pavlich in a fighting match there. Erickson in front. Erickson can't get a second shot at it. Coming back out again. Boy, was Pavlich going with Boyd, and when the referee turned his back, Pavlich took him down. <laughs> I saw that. Sundstrom of the puck. 145 to go in a wild period. It's only 2-1. Wilson and, Lund and Sundstrom came together pretty heavy at the line. This is the kind of a period it could have been four or five goals scored. Very easily. In fact, Glenn Hammond, I thought, been outstanding. Greshner is talking with somebody over there. We can't see his Paul. It's, it's so Higgins. Higgins. Higgins, yeah. Higgins is in disfavor in Chicago with uh, the coach, Orville Tessier. From, from what I can understand, there aren't too many guys in favor with the coach, Mr. Tessier, and his team. Ronnie Greshner. Well, you know that you pointed out before, Phil, the difference in points Chicago has now as compared to last year. Yeah, I think uh, they have. It's a, I'll look at it. I'll get it in my notes here. It's all mixed up over here. <laughs> it's been so fast. It's under the peanut shells. <laughs> no, no. But it's been so fast and furious. Uh, I'll give it to you in a second. Rogers in the Rangers head to back. Don across the red line. A shot on net and a save. He follows up. Gardner in the corner with Don Maloney. Eric Anderson is in there. Kent Eric Anderson. Beck pinching in along the boards to help out. Boy, the sticks and elbows are up a little bit in this particular exchange. 1.14 to go, first period. Peter Marsh taken along the board by uh, Rutzelainen. That's Patterson in deep with Anderson. Beck is there. One minute in the Rogers in a race with Wilson, and Esposito will come out. Dave Maloney. Rogers turns one in.
O'Callahan behind his own net with Wilson. LaRouche goes for the puck. You're right, Phil, you spotted it early. Bad defensive work by Chicago. Defense, the Chicago defense are not thinking at all. They're doing things that I can't believe. But last year at this time, the Blackhawks had 56 points. And? They were 25, 6, and 6. And this year at this time, they're 15, 19, and 3 for 33 points. That is a big difference. And in between the first and second period, I had a chance to interview Bob Pulford, who's the general manager. We'll talk and to you I, about that. I did talk about a little bit about that. Well, I asked him. I'll let him talk about it. <laughs> that interview coming up. I think you'll enjoy it. 31 seconds to go in the period. The face-off on the right side of Tony Esposito. Savard checking his troops and moving them around a little bit. Pavlich on the draw for the Rangers with Hedberg in a slot. Huber pokes it ahead. Rogers involved in the sideboards. This is Rich Preston. Preston across, missed Sear. Dave Maloney coming across. 19 seconds to go in period one. Keith Brown. Brown from his own end. Wrestled away by Rogers. Pavlich tried to pass through Sear and could not. Sevard knocked away from him. Pavlich playing very alertly. <laughs> Rogers and Savard come together at the red line as the first period ends. You know, it's one thing I forgot to tell you people that uh, for the Blackhawks, Ben Wilson is not playing. He has a broken toe, and Nicky Patillo has a full groin. He is behind the bench, though. We'll be looking at Nicky later on behind the bench with the earphones on. At the end of one, the score is Rangers 2 and the Blackhawks 1, and we'll be back with intermission material in just a moment. Joel, man, you better be doing his exercises. That's all I got to say. <laughs> He's coming along fine. That's good. That's good news. Okay. Rangers have the puck. Second period is just underway. One goal lead for New York. Wilson with the puck behind the net. Brutz line at the red line. At Sunstrom doing the four checking. Wilson, good and strong, sends one in. Sear and Savard are chasing the puck, but Sunstrom gets there first with Erickson in front of him. Behind the back pass. LaRouche. LaRouche in front. Can't force it. He's double team. Coming to Beck. Shot. Save. And the carom goes to the left side. Erickson still forcing the play in the corner with Sunstrom. LaRouche. And Sunstrom again. Dunstrom here in the corner. Laidlaw's got a shot if he wants it. He does. Save. Rebound wide. Not much on it. Look at Chicago. They're just backing off. Oh. Shot wide by Sundstrom. Huber shot. High off the skate. Stays in play for Erickson. Erickson gets free from Savard. He's got Sundstrom. Try to turn it into the backhand and could not. Sundstrom gets loose. Bob Murray. Chicago can't get out and they'll have to ice it. Yes, so. Boy, whenever something like that happens to a lot of times the, the team, the defensive team will take a penalty and a dumb penalty at that. But the, the Rangers just kept the puck in. Willie Huber, by the way, is having a pretty good game tonight. I thought he had a horrendous game in Pittsburgh, but he's playing well. He's playing a little bit more aggressive. And for Willie Huber to be effective, he has to play aggressive. I give it my one for the night. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Face off in Chicago's end. Comes back for Ritzelainen. Oh, it's Dave Maloney. Shot. Save. Dave Maloney at the point. And Esposito had it tagged all the way. But you see what's happening there. The re I mean, it's unbelievable how it's wide open. Watch Dave Maloney. He walks in. There's absolutely no one there to check him. Chicago has come out just about as flat as they can. All of the action so far has been in Chicago's end. Shot by Greshner, deflected. Dave will come back. Being trailed by Sutter. Two on two. Nice work by Hedberg, and a good poke check knocked it away from him by Keith Brown. McClanahan shot, deflected, save. Pavlich had sneaked in front. I didn't even see him going in there, and he almost poked one by. Pavlich came around behind the net and parked to the right of Esposito, and the shot by McClellan, here's the shot. Robbie McClellan shoots the puck. Now look at Pav. He's standing right in front. And Ludzik comes in and takes him out. 
So have the Blackhawks had the puck out of their own zone so far? No, that has not been in the Rangers' end yet. Okay. Look at him. He always looks like he's uh, in pain. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see through that mask. Johnny Davidson is back here. We'll hear from him when he catches his breath. Here comes uh, Callahan down. He's got a shot. Save. Hanlon played the angle well. Laidlaw back. Rogers tips it ahead. Will not get it back again. Patterson sends it up into his own bench area. That's where Chicago's been playing so far here in the second period. Wasn't I supposed to say you were back yet, eh, John? But you are. There's Tessier. Boy, he doesn't look happy, does he? Ah, uh, he's not happy. He's a miserable old guy. One of the few guys around with less hair than I have. <laughs> uh, okay. There's the Rangers on the road, 5, 6, and 3. Look at that Blackhawk home record. That's a good record on, the, on home. Whoa. Well, Callahan takes the pass, dumps it into center zone. This is Patterson coming down, playing the corner. It is Dump and Hope now. Solid check. Another solid check. Peter Marsh has been taken out previously. Back to center zone. O'Callahan at the red line. This is Gardner. Peter Marsh gets away from the check by Rogers. Finally, Rogers knocked it away. Marsh follows up on Laidlaw. Gardner is there. Rogers plays the board to try to get it packed and cannot. Soft play off the boards. Hit the linesman. Luther couldn't get out of the way in time. O'Callahan across. It is 2-1. Rangers, we're in the second period just underway. Blackhawks on their first real drive here. Patterson going in deep against Laidlaw. Laidlaw beat him to the puck. Puts a line and off the sideboard. Rogers. Rangers break in in center. Blaisdell comes to the left side. Carried it back out again. Almost put himself offside. That's an offside. That's an Good offside line. there for sure. 60 minutes and 50 seconds to go in period number two. The score is Rangers 2, the Blackhawks 1. We'll be back at Chicago Stadium in just a moment. 16.50 remaining second period. 2-1 Rangers. Face off in the Rangers end for the first time in the period and it is sent back in by the Hawks. Drester. Sundstrom. Couldn't find Erickson. Intercepted cleanly by Higgins. Bob Murray ahead. Erickson. Oh, nice pass. Almost had LaRouche in. Only Teamster got back in time. Yeremchuk. Yeremchuk. Sent in deeper by Wilson. Teamster is in behind the goal line. Chicago's got their act back together again. They're attacking pretty well here. LaRouche, soft pass. Erickson. Dave Maloney. Shot toward the net. Esposito's got it all the way. You know, it no. does seem that, that uh, LaRouche and Erickson and Sunson work very well together like they've been playing together a long time. I've seen a lot of behind the back and blind passes and they're right on the money. Well, yeah, I'll tell you, but LaRouche plays a lot with Don Maloney and Donnie Maloney's sitting on the bench with a towel wrapped around him. He must be really have a tough time with that flu. He's got the flu. He's got a sore foot. He's got a sore shoulder. He's got a he got high stick in the mouth. He's got a sore inside of the mouth. Boy, that's poor guy and he's got the broken finger still too. Some, some play and some don't. That's right. Tells the story, doesn't it? Face off on the right side of Esposito. Pavlich wins the draw for Beck. He can't get the shot away. Backhand. Rutzelainen. Score! I'm not sure if Pavlich got a piece of that in the net or not. No, sir. That puck beat. Esposito on the short side all the way. A slap shot. And he went down awfully quick there. It's way too quick. And Rutzelainen just blasted it on the short side. Let's take a look at it. Face off. But I like Beck's play here. Watch him. Fakes a shot and then goes behind his back. Now Rutzelainen walks in, nobody. And you can see he had a good view of it, and he just beat him on the short side. You know, if you're not sure how hard Rutzelainen can shoot the puck, just watch this. And Tony Esposito is a good goaltender, and he always does go down a little early. He blew it by him. He That's can right. shoot the puck. If he'd gone down five minutes before, then he wouldn't have stopped that one. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay, it's 3-1 Rangers now over the Blackhawks. Beck certainly will get one of the assists at 4 3 We'll wait for the second one. Probably Pavlich off the faceoff. You know, the five games this year, Rutzelainen hasn't dressed. The Rangers have only won one of them, and he's back playing tonight, and the team's winning. Keith Brown sends one into the Rangers' end. Huber. Ludzik, 29. Centering pass, knocked away, and that was all the way back to center zone by Larmer. Sutter on the sideboard, tangled up with the torque. 
Laidlaw coming across. Mike Allison. Batora can't quite reach it in time. Lawmer across in front of his own net. DuPont coming down the left side. Batora back checking. Ludzik's on him. The puck will go out of play. Phil, did Tony say how tough it is? You know, he's averaged 57 games a year. It's got to be tough to play tonight. We'll talk about that in a sec. We'll be back in just a moment. Rutalainen scored the goal from Beck and Pavlich. 4-3. And we'll get the answer to Johnny's question in just a little bit as soon as we get a break here. Knocked down in the Rangers' end, but carried loose. Rutzelainen has got Rogers. He's got a man in front, and Rutzelainen can't get there in time. Boyd. Randy Boyd on defense. Taken away adroitly by Rogers. Rogers can't find a hole. Try to jam it. No way. Pass blades Bell. Blaisdell and Don Maloney and Rogers this line. Here comes Patterson. They got a left winger free. Oh, he shoots too oh. late. Beck was able to take it away. He had a free left winger and couldn't make up his mind with it a shooter pass. Harry Beck made a great play. Bad change by Roots Alain and, yes. and Beck got caught back. The only guy back, a two-on-one situation. Ronnie Greshner couldn't get off the bench in time. And you know, Glenn Hanley went down a little early on that, and, and Patterson couldn't get it up top. Beck have, forced him good. When you're going down on a two-on-one. You've got to pass that puck quickly. See, he had a chance to pass it a lot earlier with a little flip pass. And then Beck just slid in there and was able to block it. Then they're going to see a hand pass here. That's why the whistle for the faceoff. But a bad line change. You know, the bench is down towards the Chicago end of the ice right now. And when the Ranger defensemen change, they have a little more ice to cover. They have to be smart with their changes. Dave Maloney goes after the puck. The score here is 3-1 in favor of the Rangers. We're in the second period. 14-10 to go. Anders Hedberg. Hedberg's got help in front with McClanahan, but the puck comes across behind Pavlich on the ice with him. Your M. Chuck trying to pry it away. Pavlich fighting along the boards. And gets it away. Dave Maloney joins the party. Pavlich still scrambling for the puck. McClanahan taking a hosing on the side board. Look at Pavlich dig. Does he ever quit? Uh -uh. Gets it loose. Shot. Block in front. That hit Doug Wilson. Pavlich. Shot blocked again by Wilson. Two in a row by Wilson. Brown thought there should have been a penalty. That's what the booing is for. McClanahan is back. Are the Rangers ever pouring it on? There's an interference penalty. Just an offside call with 13.28 to go. Okay. As I was asking earlier, Tony yeah. Esposito, your brother, yeah. has averaged 57 games a year, Phil. Yeah. And this is only, I believe, his 10th start of the season. Did right. he say anything to you last night when you had dinner with him? Is it hard to just play once in a while? He says the one thing that he and uh, Tessier had talked about was the fact that it would be nice if if he could just alternate in with Murray Bannerman for the rest of the year. He said it's very difficult to play. And uh, John, you know, it's very wow. difficult to play if you're sitting there for three or four weeks. If you're used to playing all those games all throughout your career. Right. You know, it's amazing looking at the stats. He's played nine games and his three assists. <laughs> 13 20 to go. Us Espositos are always going. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> probably got a clause for a bonus. Here's a shot toward the net. High and wide. <laughs> Coming back out for Beck. Erickson shot saved. Scoring the rebound. Well, a beautiful shot by Erickson and jammed in with the far side. That Hedberg? Sundstrom. 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 But there it is. DuPont, number 25, is standing there watching the play. Esposito makes the first save, and DuPont puts in the rebound. Watch the pie play here. Beck goes into the corner. Back out to Hedberg. And there's the save. And look at DuPont. Now watch him break his stick. How about watch a quick passing here, though. LaRouche, bang, right out to the slot. Bang, Erickson, Erickson shoots it. Bang, the save's made. And there's Sundstrom off to the side. Saying, these, these quick guys passing. play tremendously together. Quick passing. They've got Chicago turned inside out, and that was the problem for them. So the Rangers now have a three-goal lead. 4-1 to score. Meantime, Chicago trying to come in here on the right side with Lommer. Lommer is pinned by Laidlaw. Ludzik is deep, throws his body. O'Callaghan towards the net. They got a slot man. Sutter couldn't get to it. And Eric Anderson, long shot. Save Esposito and hit him. The rebound's in front. Comes wide right. Petorik was clobbered as he tried to come in from the right side. In front again, backhand save. Esposito saves. There's a penalty coming up. Petorik and O'Callaghan start to go, and O'Callaghan uh, skates away from it. Yeah, O'Callaghan skates away. He and Robbie Petorik know each other from Boston, and they just skated away. 
Well, he's got a penalty, though. Oh, yes. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Second period. Petorek still jawing at his old friend. That's hockey. We'll be back with more of it in a couple of minutes. While we were away, Ludzik and Mike Allison went at it. I'll tell you, it was kind of funny. To, well, not really funny, but it was funny to watch. Allison and Ludzik stood there all alone, talking to each other, both nodded their head, yes, and just dropped the gloves. Mike Allison is going off off the ice. I don't know if he hurt himself or what. They're both going off, and I suspect they're being penalized for not breaking up the fight and going. However, I do see Bob Williams, the trainer, coming over, and maybe Mike might have gotten cut. No, I see he Ludzik, didn't get Ludzik's cut. going off as well, so they've been ordered off the ice. Well, they should. They should get a 10 minute. Ludzik and Allison were talking to each other, folks. We were weird commercial. They were nose to nose, and then all of a sudden, Ludzik just skated back and dropped his gloves. So Allison dropped his gloves, and they had a a wrestling match, really, and Allison put him down, and then the referees, the lines, they both in and nodded up. heads at each other. They sort of very diplomatically decided to drop the gloves and go at it. Don't forget, don't forget, Ludzik is the guy that knocked out Glenn Hanlon's feet earlier in the game, and that may have That's had right. some bearing on the situation. I'm not very sure about it. In the meantime, O'Callaghan is going to get a five-minute major for drawing blood on Robbie Pretorik. Pretorik will go off. That's why probably Bobby Williams went. And I'm it's not sure, but I, I did see a stick get broken right in half. We're going to take a look. Watch this shot. It's Tony Esposito here. It's all by himself. He is. I believe it's Blaisdell. Uh, or that's Kent Eric Anderson. Yeah, watch a nice little pass here. Well, there's a quick high shot. Hit Tony up on the shoulder. Tony playing the angle quite well. But, but here, that, we're going to see O'Callaghan. Right he's now. right in there, and he's going to hit Fatorik up high with a stick, and he's going to draw a five-minute major with that. So he gets a five minute major and the Rangers will be able to have a power play for five minutes. He have scored five power play goals in their last 11 attempts and they can score as many as they want on this and, power and play. And I imagine that Allison and Ludzik have both drawn at least 15 minutes, five for fighting a piece in the misconduct penalties, but we haven't been able to get an official yet. Look at Tessier. Well, the Rangers are leading 4-1, 12.30 left in the second period. They have a five minute power play advantage. Chicago has scored three shorthanded goals that's all they've scored all season. The Rangers have to be careful. They don't want to get caught up. I still want to be trapped. Take their time, set up their power play properly. You know, we probably didn't give you that Sundstrom goal. It's 13th from Erickson and the LaRouche again. Pierre LaRouche gets three points so far in the game tonight. Okay, we've just been checking here. It is fighting and, and 10 minute misconducts for Allison and Ludzik. Okay. So they're gone for 15 with 12.30 left. What a mess. 4 1 to score Rangers second period. Rogers back pass for a shot by Ritzelin if he wants it. He does not. Dreschner, five minutes. Power play with the Rangers. Rogers, Dreschner pinching over toward the high man position in the middle. There he is. Dreschner makes the shot. Rogers the free wing. Cross ice, Ritzelin it. Beautiful pass save. And the Blackhawks should clear. Big save by Esposito. The Rangers really set that up beautifully, though. They look like they're conducting a clinic in a couple of these plays tonight. 4.15 to go in the power play. You don't often get these single five-minute power no, plays. that's right. Ritz Linen coming in. Centering pass all the way across to Rogers. Back to Gresham. LaRouche ready for a pass. You take one shot blocked in front. Rogers. Ritz Linen back at the point. Erickson behind the net. Ritzelainen's drive, save, rebound cleared by Esposito. Our play has 3.49 to go. Here comes Patterson. Hanlon pokes it into the corner. Patterson's on top of the puck. Ritzelainen on top of Patterson. We'll get a play stoppage and a faceoff in the Rangers' end. There's yeah. Patterson, one of their penalty killers. He led the rush with a three-on-two, Phil. Rangers almost yeah. got trapped in that situation. Uh, Fortunately for the Rangers, Chicago didn't get a shot on goal. Pierre LaRouche was a little slow in trading the play, and he should have went up and picked up a man. you got to be careful. You don't want to get lackadaisical when you're on a, a long power play situation this, like this. This is where the killer instinct comes through. You know, you've got you got five minutes. You've got a five-minute power play. Put it away right now. On the draw, comes back to Willie Huber. Dave Maloney. Erickson for Pavlich. Onside for Hedberg. He's in deep. They didn't call that offside. They did Jim. not. <laughs> it was, though. I thought so. 
Peter Marsh, number six, uh, 17, did not clear all the way down. Huber Short stops at the red line. Rangers have had that one good setup on this five-minute power play, and none since. Pavlich, Huber. There's an offside <laughs> call with 3.02 to go. <laughs> that was funny. He blasted that. You know, you have been talking about that offside that was just missed. There we get a, a shot of Brown. He's one of the arm wrestling champions of the NHL. Every yeah, year they that's have right. A very, very strong young man. Strong but man. getting back to that offside that we thought was not called, you know, Chicago, on top of conversation here in Chicago is the fact that since that Lysiak incident with Foyt, the linesman, Chicago, every time a play is missed, they feel that they're being picked on by the referees in the league. I think it's totally fab fra fabricated. No, well, I, I agree. I don't think that they pick on Not them. for a minute what I think about that. And you know how critical I am of these guys. I never I noticed that, Phil. They pick on you. They try to do the job. I like the referees. Goaltenders always have. It's almost halfway <laughs> through this hockey game. The Rangers power play continues. LaRouche sends one ahead. Don Maloney back again. LaRouche is being tied up. Shot. Save on Rogers. Rogers got off a of beauty, and Esposito looks good, despite the fact that he's let four in. He's well, getting not much help on the rebounds, especially. This period is a complete opposite of the first period. The first period, the Blackhawks dominated. This period, totally. Watch Mike Rogers going to get this shot off. Now, he's going to be leaning with his weight away from the net. Watch out. Off the wrong foot, and he's still got a good shot. Tony and Tony stopped it. Beamster put it right back into Tony Esposito to cover it up for the faceoff and play stoppage and start over in their own zone. Out of town, Detroit and Washington, 2-2 now in the third period. Rogers and Don Maloney and Pierre LaRouche on the power play front line. Ritzelainen and Greshner in the back line. Greshner in the same position he was in the other night in the garden against Chicago, if you'll recall, when they got two consecutive power play goals. It went round and round behind the net three times in a perfect setup. Look at the size of those pads on Tony. You know, there's, there's a league rule that's supposed to be 10 inches wide. No. I, those are 10 yards. <laughs> I'm not squilling. LaRouche is out. <laughs> and goes back in again. Standoff. Murray around the boards. Gresham could not keep it in play. So far, Chicago's done a good job against the five minute power play. New York has had one setup. Don Maloney. No box for Chicago. They're playing aggressively against this power play. Don Maloney back. Let's align it. Takes the shot. Run. Far side, Greshner. Plays the boards for Don. Pass met for Greshner. Karen's off the skate and comes out. Chicago's doing the job. Let's align it. Gardner is out there. Along with Patterson, been doing a lot of work. Doug Wilson has been out for the whole time, I think. This is Gresham again. Shot wide. Time of the power play, 145. Ritzelainen. Couldn't keep it in. Cleared again. Penalty. No, it's high just stick a call. high stick call. The faceoff will go all the way down. The Rangers, all of a sudden, are taken very easy on this power they play. They should be killing. That's right. There's the score we gave you. Detroit and Washington, 2-2. Two -two. And the third, the Toronto. Over Minnesota, 2-0. They always give Minnesota trouble. Toronto they does. Sure do. They're looking at this game here, too, tonight. They can take over the spot held out. They're tied out with the Chicago, aren't they? The Rangers are 1-2 for two so far in the power play tonight. Blackhawks are 1-4. But this is a five-minute one. This is like a two, two, two power plays. Two and a half, to be exact, yeah. though. <laughs> okay, John. <laughs> Dave Maloney skating up on the right-hand side. This is Pavlich coming out. Knocked away by Preston. Preston has the puck. Good cross ice for Marsh. Deflected back to center zone. Keith Brown is the red line. Rangers have not been able to do a thing with this five-minute power play except for their first setup. Marsh comes out to center zone with it. Lost the puck there. One ten to go. Dave Maloney. The score is 4-1. Rangers, we're in the second period. Hedberg chases in onside. Nobody's in a slot. Dave Maloney's now coming in front. Dave Maloney takes the pass. Pavlich, shot, deflected high, still hangs, comes down in play. Hedberg ridden out by Marsh. Solid hit by Boyd. Erickson has the puck. 44 seconds in the five-minute power play, and the fans are beginning to applaud Chicago, as well they should. Erickson, Pavlich, back to the point. Dave Maloney. 
Pavlich turns, can't get the shot. Now in front, save. Rebound loose, wide on the rebound. Willie Huber, drive, save, rebound, clear. Penalty will be over in 20 seconds. And Marsh clear. I think Blackhawks are going to get another penalty. No, it's the Rangers. A penalty has been called against the Rangers. I didn't see it. We'll have to wait. Somebody's on the bench. They want him off. Well, I don't know what the call is, but I saw number 16, Preston, throw an elbow. Then he called the penalty. He put up his hand anyway. I'm going to tell you what, folks. These fans here in Chicago, and there's an awful pile of them tonight, sure enjoy the work of Tony Esposito and goal. 7.44 remains, second period. Power play will be coming up eventually for Chicago after 14 seconds, and we will be back. Anders Hedberg gets the penalty at 12.16 for Alboy. Well, I thought it was the other guy. <laughs> so both teams will have four skaters for the next 14 seconds, and then a power play coming up for the Blackhawks. The space off in the Rangers end just at the top of the circle to the right side of Glenn Hanlon. And you can bet the Rangers as a team and the coaching staff are upset about wasting a five minute power play with that a real good opportunity. Laidlaw. Beck. Knocked away. Centered back. Rangers had the puck. Still four on four. Icing call. And the power play is also on now for the Chicago Blackhawks. The Rangers are complaining about that. That's true. I don't feel whether that should have been icing or not. They sort of loped their way back there, waiting yeah. to get the man out of the penalty box. I suppose box. you're right. Yeah, but water under the bridge is water under the bridge. It's been called, and that's that. Chicago did a great job. The goaltending. Water everybody... under the bridge hey, is That's water. a new one, huh? Have you heard that before? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chicago, great job killing that five-minute major. They did. Now they have an opportunity to get back in a hockey game. Boy, that's... I played I had a five-minute power play. That's when the killer instinct got to come. You got to put him away. Well, it's got to be a morale booster for the whole Chicago club. Right now. It's Let's watch be. this power play with Chicago now. How much they crowd the net on Hanlon and how much the defensive for the Rangers are going to have to work to allow Hanlon to see the shots. They have Savard on the draw with Lommer on his right side. Sutter, of course, on his left side. Murray and Wilson are out there at the back line. Beck gets to the puck on the draw. Tablet right back toward Becky. Cannot get a clearing shot. This is Bob Murray over to Wilson. Wilson feeds Savard. They've got Lommer and Sutter in the usual position in a slot. Behind Murray. And look at Hanlon come out. In front. Not cleared. Wilson's got the puck for Murray. Off the side of the net. Laidlaw plays the board. Rogers goes for the puck. It'll come across for Pavlich, and Rogers is looking for a pass. Rogers takes the pass onside. Offside. No. Offside. Offside. Boy, oh boy. Rangers power for penalty killing the third in the NHL with an 82.4%. Mike Rogers is close there. You know what I don't understand? The way that Dougie Wilson shoots the puck, why Tessier, for the love of money, uh, doesn't have him on the opposite side blasting the puck. I'll tell you something else that bothers me. Why isn't he shooting when he gets the chance? He really I is not. I don't understand it, boy. If I could shoot like that guy. There's Ken Derek Anderson with a, with a clear shield covering his nose and his eye area where he got cut not too long ago in New York against the Islanders. He decided he'll probably keep that on just for safety's sake. It was very close to his eye and really scared him. It's Must a good have. idea to keep those things on if you get used to them. Well, if you get wear, used to them, you know. If you're going to wear the helmet, you might as well wear the face mask, too. Go all the way, man. Time remaining in the power play. <laughs> One minute and five seconds. Anders Hedberg in the penalty box. We've got 6.48 to go in the second period. The Rangers leading by a score of 4-1. to one. The puck comes down across center zone. Wilson. Lauber. I don't know whether the Hawks have had a shot on goal yet this period. Beck ahead. Nice soft save for Esposito. Keith Brown is back. Tony Esposito got a nice round of applause when he was announced as the starting goaltender. He's a big sentimental favorite here. Up ahead, this is Savard coming in in a hurry. Savard and Laidlaw. In front by Savard. Save! There's a shot on goal. Whoa. And a fantastic stop. Yes, sir. A great stop by Glenn Hammond. Keith Brown takes the pass. Hands it off to Lommer. Lommer's pass. Cutter. Score! Daryl Sutter scored the 
the goal, his 12th of the year. And for Sutter, his fifth power play, a beautiful pass by Larmer. Laidlaw cut across, he had no business, banks it off the goal post. Brent Hanlon has no chance. Here comes Larmer, a good pass. How does Tommy Laidlaw coming across like No that? reason. And watch the shot. I think that Hanlon either went off the post or went off the glove hand of Glenn Hanlon. Hanlon guessed right, but Sutter yep. beat him with a shot. A power play goal. In the meantime, they're back in the hockey game and now. He, and listen through. to the fans. Listen, listen to the fans giving applause here. For the New York Rangers. Here Chuck on the draw against Rogers, who wins. Dave Maloney for Greshner and back today. Don Maloney. That's O'Callaghan. Preston. Here Chuck. Penalty. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sheer got in the way of Dave Maloney and took him down. Now, now Esposito is. goes to the bench, so Esposito. I'm not sure what the penalty's been called. It is on Sear. I thought so. But Esposito thought it was on the Rangers, and so did some of the Rangers think that. Tony, in the meantime, is coughing a drink over there. Five minutes and 40 seconds to go. We'll be back with more. <laughs> it's a penalty. Two minutes for interference, I believe, he got. We haven't gotten the official yet, but we will. So now the Rangers go on a power play. This will be their third power play. Phil, on that situation, Tony made a mistake. That's right. He thought the Rangers were going to get the penalty, so he skated off so the extra attacker could come on. And actually, that constitutes a, a a, leaving the goal crease. It's a two-minute penalty. Okay. I got I got called. I made that mistake one night in St. Louis, and Art Scove gave me two minutes for that. I wasn't happy. He taught me a lesson. <laughs> I was a rookie then. It could have been more embarrassing. The Rangers could have <laughs> kept control of that puck and sent it down. That's right. That's right. All the way down the ice into the Rangers end now. Gresner is on the side boards. New York missed a golden opportunity on a five minute power play. His Gresner, beautiful stick handling. Wow! He hit the post to the upright. Post. What a job by Gresner. Rogers back. LaRouche. Rogers. Gresner's in a slot. Chris Cross. Let's align it. Rutzelainen, behind LaRouche, he's got it. Greshner, LaRouche. Good fake. Greshner, LaRouche, Mott, get it now. Deflected wide. Gardner clears. Ranger will have to be careful. Patterson's in in a hurry. Mark Pavlich on the sideboard. LaRouche, Pavlich, centered. Peter Marsh coming out. The three on two. Marsh drifts left. They'll have to hold one man back to make it a two on three now as the Rangers get back as well. Marsh is doing a solo act. The rest of the Black Box drop back. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the period. 39 seconds to go in the power play with the Rangers. They're offside coming in. The score is 4-2 in favor of New York. We're in the second period. Wow, the power play. Ronnie Gresner fed this guy right here. Pierre LaRouche a couple. Who seems to be having trouble with that stick? The puck is bouncing off it. Look at him. What a beautiful setup by Gresham. Did he go through four men? Absolutely beautiful. Mark Pavlich hit the goalpost in that one. Rangers got to have, got to put him away in these power plays and let the Hawks come back. Dave Maloney with the puck. Preston, Huber wrapped him up. Preston stays in to fight. Marsh. New York's got time for one more rush here. Dave Maloney. Edberg's in. Shot. Wide. He had the opening. He went a little bit too wide. The left side of Esposito was open. Marsh. Penalty will end in four seconds, and Chicago's done it again. Dave Maloney. Backhanded front. Missed by Sundstrom. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They get in the opportunities. They can't find the hole. Hedberg toward the net. Wide. Esposito steers it into the corner. And this is often where you're most vulnerable after missing power play opportunities. We'll be back here at Chicago Stadium in just a moment. Okay, three minutes, 22 seconds left. It looks like a piece of the glass has come out. 
down in the Chicago Blackhawks zone. There, you can see what they'll have to do is lift it up and put it back into this piping that they have around there. Jim, if I was guessing on shots on goal in this period. In this period, last time it came pretty I, close. I, I can't believe how the, uh, how the game has turned around. The Blackhawks have just sort of stopped the first period they were right in the hockey what game. What do you think they've got, three or four on Hanlon? I'd say four shots on Glenn in this period so and, far. And Rangers? Rangers probably 14 or 50 so far. I'm There's not sure they have that many because they missed the net on a few before. They put a lot toward the net. You can see that patch on his right pad. Yeah. That's what he was working on last night. Look it took at three hours he was working on it. I should get involved in it, but those do look like white bags. <laughs> <laughs> he maintains that they've been measured and they're legal, so. Okay. All. We are in the second period here in Chicago. Jim Gordon along with Phil Esposito and John Davidson. Set the length of the ice. There will be no icing. Stop just short of the goal uh, goal line. Beck. They're on side, but all three fours on the right side. So Chicago is an easy time picking it away. Lommer coming out, being checked by Blaisdell. Hanlon lays it off. Hit the linesman on the far side. Rogers in. Blaisdell's in front. Pass back for Beck. Backhand. Save. Kicked it away. And Don Maloney couldn't get it up. Good move by the goaltender. Here comes Samar. Oh, can he control the puck? Blaisdell's onside with Rogers. Shot on the screen. Save. And this one should call for icing. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Period number two. Period. And a word, domination. Right now yep, by absolutely. the New York Rangers. Boy, they didn't play this well in Pittsburgh the other night. That was uh, one of the worst games I think the Rangers have played in a long, long time. But watch Barry Beck. He goes around Dougie Wilson, and look, he passed over to Donnie Maloney, and there's the save. And now Maloney goes back around, and then the puck comes out, and there's another. It was another shot after. Face off is in Chicago's end. Tablets get the shot, it's off a stick and into the crowd. One of the great things over the last couple of years here at Chicago is the return of the people. This stadium, which yep. used to be jam-packed night after night, got empty for a few years, and boy, it is beautiful to see them back again. It sure is. Billy Gardner doesn't play much. He plays on a fourth line, but a good penalty killer. Laidlaw, Huber, shot. Knocked down in front. I'm not sure if Esposito got it or somebody else. Laidlaw passes up the shot. Keith Brown is back there. McClanahan four checking with Pavlich. Laidlaw and Patterson. He's got a shot, Huber. Save Esposito. 1.45 to go in the second period. Rangers are leading 4-2. McClanahan was taken down. Got to stick around the ankle someplace. Limping a little bit. He skates back. Marsh. Peter Marsh. Shot is blocked in front. Huber ahead. Rangers just look magnificent right now. But they could not put Chicago away when they had a chance with a five-minute power play and then a succeeding two. That's right. And that's really what, what the problem is uh, right there. But they still have this game well in control. Robbie McClanahan. Favoring that leg a little bit. Yep. We are talking to him today, and we were talking about certain things. And, and he asked me my opinion of something, and I said, Robbie, you have the unique ability to shoot the puck on stride, which a lot of guys don't but you don't utilize that enough, and you should. When they ask me my opinion, I tell them, but otherwise I don't try to volunteer too much information. I don't want to get in trouble. You? Trouble? I'm in enough trouble. I think you were born that way. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Here's Wilson in again. He passes up a shot. He, this one might work out well for them. Back now for Wilson. Passes again. Heads up into the crowd. Boy, 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 he's... he's He's in the fog back there. Yeah, but the only reason I mention is because that used to be automatic for him. That puck came back to him. He swung before it got within 10 feet of him, hit it, and drove. Well, Jim, if you could shoot the puck, or I could shoot the puck, or 99% of the guys in this league could shoot the puck as hollers as that guy, they would be shooting it. 
And he usually does blast it. He doesn't hesitate. Yeah. Interesting. He is, he's being very tentative. Yeremchuk trying to go forward with that puck against Mike Rogers. John Maloney and Hedberg the line. yeremchuk has got Higgins on his right side. And Feimster. Feimster number three coming in here. Oh, they set up pretty well here with Higgins in a slot. One minute. Can't find him. There's Higgins now. The puck comes through. Bob Murray goes in. Less than a minute to go in the second period. Laidlaw hooked off the puck a bit. Gets it ahead for Rogers, And Mike plays it beautifully. Nice backhand pass. To, oh, look at the Hedberg pass to Don Maloney. And back to Hedberg. Shot. Save. Excellent pass work. Higgins comes out. They've got time. 43 seconds in the period. Yaremchuk's free on the left side. Hanlon sees him coming, gets out, and played it safely into the corner. Hanlon is back. Beamster centers. Here's Beck. He can't hold it. Keith Brown is in. They've got a man in the slot right out in front of Beamster and Wilson. Third, 27 seconds to go. Brown did not drive it. Now he sends a pass in deep to your M chunk. Beck pulls your M chunk down. He's going to go. Penalty coming up against Barry Beck. With 18 seconds remaining in the second period, Barry Beck. Gets a penalty for holding, probably. Let's take a look. Now watch Uremchuk. He picks up the puck. He puts the puck between Beck's legs, goes around and back with his left arm, grabs Uremchuk down. And the Blackhawks go on another penalty, a power play. Attendance tonight, 17,671. And that's what Jim was talking about. You know, Jim, I remember my first three years in the league with Bobby Hull and Makita. Glenn Hall and all those great players here. Here, Palat. 20,000 people. They used to announce 17,000. Yeah. <laughs> Face off on the left side of Glenn Hanlon. 18 seconds to go. An important 18 seconds for the Rangers. Chicago takes advantage of this opportunity. It's going to be a whole different hockey game. Again, the Rangers' inability to put Chicago away with a five-minute power play. Keeps things hanging here. Eight seconds to go. Pavlich. Dave Maloney. Intercepted. Three seconds. They've got time for a shot. Say, tricky shot at bat. And that might have had time to go in. But it didn't. So the net result is at the end of two, the Rangers have a two-goal lead. Coming back in the third, the Chicago Blackhawks will have a minute and 42 seconds of a power play. And that will be interesting to watch. We'll be back here at Chicago Stadium in just a moment. Three and then Nine. four is 19 fours right. I, I had the four right by the Blackhawks. I had only 16 for the Rangers in my mind. Seen in a 10 in this kind of. Here we go. Okay, Jimmy. Five on four. Chicago. Dave Maloney shot carries into Chicago's end after hitting somebody at the red line. Let's not forget that statistic that John Davidson said. Yep. Blackhawks have never won going in the third period behind. Savard. Big power play here against the Rangers. Sutter is in deep. Huber tries to take him out. Dave Maloney helping out. Got a stranglehold almost on Sutter. Blackhawks in the power play. This is Murray. Wilson. And again, he passes. Now he gets into position to shoot. Savard looking for somebody. Wilson. Now the shoot. Save. That's the shot we were talking about all night long. Back to Savard. Wilson can skate in from this position. And here he's doing it, as a matter of fact. Shot by Murray, wide. Hanlon was cut down in front. He's all right. Savard. Boy, Sutter's having a tough time. He's slashing Hanlon. Hanlon trying to slash back. Dave Maloney also is slashing him. Wilson, there's the shot again. He just got a little piece shot. Save! Time in the power play, 30 seconds. Savard. They're trying to get Sutter out of there. Sutter and Dave Maloney going at it. Cleared. Savard. Oh, Sutter stands his position out he there. He sure does, boy. Savard is really... His mind isn't around here either, it seems to me. He's making some bad passes. 12 seconds to go on the power play. Yaremchuk. In the crease and through. Keith Brown in deep. Cleared in front. What a stop. And Willie Huber made the clear. Yaremchuk screen knocked away by Huber. In front and wide. Final play is over. The play continues by Chicago. Kicked back again. Here comes Wilson. He's beaten to it and it's clear. 
Rangers have fended it off. Erickson pass. Sundstrom couldn't quite get to it in time. Yeremchuk is back. Yeremchuk being chased by Erickson. Good speed by Yeremchuk. Centering pass carries through. There's Beck out of the box. He's down under the pile. Here comes Pavlich. Hedberg onside. He's got Pavlich in front. Pavlich carries too deep. Hedberg puts it in the slot. Knocked away. Nita Marsh coming back. Took it away from, from McClanahan. Wide open game right now. Yeremchuk with Marsh. Stopped by Rutzelainen. He's got skating room. Wide, wide, wide. He's got skating room. Hedberg. Screen. Shot. Save. Pavlich back. Score! McClanahan. Robbie McClanahan scores the goal. Hedberg, Pavlich doing a lot of the work, and that is a, a big, big goal for the New York Rangers right now. Did he shoot it on stride, Phil? Well, he didn't have to. He was standing there, and it was a great pass back to him. Rutzelainen goes down. Or uh, Hedberg shoots a puck to save, but Pavlich goes in the corner now. McClanahan beats his man, Marsh. Now look at McClanahan. One stride, blam. He didn't wait. He just shot that puck. And McClanahan scores his third goal of the year. That makes it 5-2 Rangers in the third period. Rogers in front. He got it. Stop. Oh, what a stop. There's the save of the night. That puck was behind him. 16-55 remaining in the game. The Rangers are leading 5-2. We will be back with more. By the way, welcome back, John. So Redmond Hillary has made it to the top again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is Ludzik trying to get the puck out. Sutter here on the sideboards. Greshner is pinching in on top of him. Don Maloney. Centering pass for Rogers. Fakes the shot. Knocked away. Rogers goes down. And back to center zone. Boyd has the puck. Lommer. Ludzik. And Greshner comes out. They've got a three-on-three three here. Giveaway. Bad pass from Greshner. Wilson's got it, and they're calling it offside. That goal, McClanahan, his third from Pavlich and Anders Hedberg at 2.58 to make it 5-2. Okay. There's Dennis Savard. Pretty good interview, John. How, was, him? how was... would you like to own a horse like that? I had a, I had a couple no. of horses up in Canada, and I'll tell you, they weren't like that. So even just the veterinarian bills almost <laughs> broke me. <laughs> I still think he could be a, a better player. I don't think he's comfortable with the, the coaching style. I really don't. Maybe that's it. Brooks Lydon back behind his own net. Up ahead, captured instead by Sear. Hedberg's on Sear. Here comes Beck. McClanahan has ridden off. Pavlich coming in in a hurry. He's on Doug Wilson. McClanahan with Hedberg in a slot. McClanahan back for Pavlich. Hedberg's in a deeper slot. Beck. McClanahan free here. Cross check down. Free puck comes out. Savard. They didn't make the same mistake on McClanahan twice. Hedberg. Pavlich. McClanahan. Beautiful. What a shot. Too high. What a cannonball on stride. Laidlaw. In front again. Range is just total domination in Chicago now. This number two, Randy Boyd, is having an awful lot of trouble out there tonight. Look at this. They're picking their shots. Save. Penalty coming up. There's a slashing penalty coming up against the Blackhawks with 15 minutes and 8 seconds to go in the third period. And the Rangers on top by a score of 5-2. to two. We'll be back with a Ranger power play in just a moment. Dennis Savard for slashing at 4.52. The Rangers go under fifth power play. That aggressive forechecking worked again for the Rangers. They've been doing it all night. What a Caused the, the Blackhawks to take a penalty in their own zone again, a holding penalty or whatever. What a great game plan. Scramble here, up ahead by Greshner, Don Maloney. Brooks Lydon coming in for the shot. Blocked in front. That hit Boyd. Boyd's coming out. They're coming out in pretty good shape here. Up ahead for Gardner. Gardner could not quite keep control. Rangers the other way on a three on two. LaRouche in center. 
Odd side for Rogers. Cross ice, Rich Alignin on the drive, missed. Only one man back at Preston. Rogers hooks somebody coming out. The referee oh, missed. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, he oh, missed a penalty. Rogers reached out and pulled Gardner down, and no call. <laughs> it prevented a two-on-one. Oh boy. Rather That's a mystery. That's a mystery that that wasn't called. It would have been a two-on-one for the Blackhawks, and Mike Rogers was trapped, and he just reached out with a stick. And uh, the Blackhawks' tempers got the best of them again. Wait a minute, and I think Gardner's going for complaining. Number 26 is. Patterson? Yep. Wow. And now that'll be a two-man advantage. Bob Myers put his head down. I was watching him. He put his head down to skate, to catch up with the play. And while he put his head down, Mike Rogers hooked. Gardner and just hooked him right off the puck and down he went this will be unsportsmanlike conduct probably Bob Myers I remember uh, years and years ago I wasn't here but look at Tessier he's got to get somebody out there Bob Murray and Doug Wilson are as only as good Two real solid defensemen. That Bobby Murray played for Tessier for the Cornwall Royals when they won the, the, Memorial, the Cup, Memorial Cup, right? In fact, I, I was playing opposite them. They whipped me. There's Nikki Patillo to the right of Herb Brooks with the headphones left of your screen. I was just going to tell you, John and Jim, when I was, I remember the, the famous red story incident here with the referee. Oh, yes, yes. That was when? In the 50s, was 50s it? 50s is right. Story never played. Oh, he just boy. walked away the, from it. The, uh, the fans just went absolutely crazy here. They threw the, they tore apart the stadium. They were throwing chairs and everything else. The fans here can get very, very rambunctious, as they can in any. They pull for their home team. They pay their good money. They want to see their home team do well. I hate to see it when they throw stuff on the ice. No, no, that, that yep. only hurts everybody. They're Does. doing that right now. Yeah, it's it's, one just, the a, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's just terribly dangerous, ridiculous. This will be a five on three for the Rangers for a minute and 23 seconds. Earlier, they wasted a five minute power play. Had one good setup right at the top of the five minutes. Never really got aligned again. I guess I should give more credit to Chicago for destroying the power play. They played well against the Rangers. They have to score on this power play. They have to. Out of town, 6-4 now. Toronto has come back and scored four goals. Those are six one of them. Exactly right. You know, you give some people a couple of beers, they'll do anything, won't they? Yeah, I guess that's it, John. In any event, we have nothing but a delay here. Not much we can do with it for you, except take a look around and see what the Rangers are going to be doing over the next couple of days. And again, this is a very, very busy season for them coming up, mostly on the road. About two-thirds of the road season yet to be played. And this is getting a little bit ugly here now. Let's take advantage of the break for a couple of seconds. We'll be back here in just a moment. Rangers are getting very upset about the delay. I saw Pierre LaRouche go down the exit into the dressing room, and a lot of the Rangers looked like they were going to follow him. And Myers went over and cut them off at the pass. Vadney was out on the ice. He was complaining about it, and you know there's always a forfeit rule in every book. That's right, but, but I don't think that ever. No. I, don't, I don't think that's ever happened in the league. Well, they sh <laughs> there should be some sort of a rule that uh, if they don't quit throwing the stuff on the ice, they, you can fully expect if it doesn't stop, the referee will make an announcement. Give them another penalty for delay a game. Yep. The fans are part of the club. <laughs> Not really. Tough. Well, I have to say it. <laughs> I get upset when I see this. You know, Madison Square Garden never happens. There's got to be some security in this building to try and stop these people. It doesn't happen in the garden. That's and those true. fans are as boisterous as any people in the league, if not more. That's right, John. That's exactly true. The security in the Madison Square Garden so is prepared, good. and they do it. That's right. Some of the stuff that's coming down is obviously bothering some of the people on the bench. I see that Badney over on the far side is wearing a towel over his head. Well, what they're doing is they're throwing it at the Rangers on the bench. Yep, that's what I'm saying. That's what he's angry about. He's actually safer out in the center. We'll take a look at the far side. Here's, if we can take a look at it, it looks like the Sheik of Chicago, Carol Vadney. There he is. <laughs> Maybe he's got an ice he's pack under there. He's getting a little there. angry right now. He is getting angry. Somebody's on him over there. <laughs> no, somebody's throwing something. One he's thing about Vad, you don't want to mess up his suits or anything. <laughs> <clears throat> well. And uh, little problems here. Now, Roger's up there, and Nicky's at the bench, and they've got to stop that right away. That never pays off. Well, maybe but this still... John pointed this out before, and it's true. At least there should be security on that side by the hockey players. There, sure, isn't, there, should be. there isn't any security anywhere. And that's supposed to be a league rule. Oh, there's security here. Well, I don't see a lot it of behind the Ranger bench. One thing about... Where we're at. 
5-2, Rangers. Chicago's got four men on the ice. Brown will go off. It's got to be a five on three. Brown does go off. The best thing here is drop the puck in the next face off, pick up this stuff. <laughs> Somebody might get hurt in the meantime. Rutschelainen's got the puck. Rangers have five to three advantage for a minute and 18 seconds now. Greshner coming down. They lead by a score of 5-2 over the Blackhawks. Oh, if they score right now, these fans are going to go nuts. Allison lost it on a good takeaway. Rangers in their own end. Greshner ahead. Pavlich. Greshner again. In front for Hedberg. Can't hold it. And Wilson will clear. The Blackhawks play more aggressive when they're a man short. Murray's done a good job on his side, and he's going to be tested again by Ritzelainen this time. In front, free puck, free puck, backhand, missed by Pavlich in the rebound, and Murray clear. 31 seconds in the first penalty. You're right, Bill, they played well against the power play. Rogers. Slowed down enough for an offside. 19 seconds to go in the first penalty. Oh, uh, they seem to be more aggressive and more on top of the puck when they're a man short than when they have their even at strength, which is crazy. The space off will be at the red spot just outside of Chicago's uh, end. Doug Wilson. I'll tell you one thing about walking up and down the stairs. You everywhere you go again is fans from New York. <laughs> They're here in this building. I ran into the Parker family from Connecticut. It's unbelievable. They're everywhere. Just want to tell you, we, they have it measured here. That's a 10-story hike, John. You've done it three times. You can take tomorrow off. Well, might have our inner squad game and win, win again today, right, Phil? Wilson tomorrow. sends it down and clear. Ten seconds to go in the first power play. And the first power play will end as the Rangers come across center zone. First penalty's over. LaRouche across, Rogers off his stick, it's five on four. Kept on by Dave Maloney. Breakout, two on one. Rogers trying to make it two on two. Wilson shots wide. Oh, he had everybody beat with that one, but not on target. Well, you see Mike Rogers back check. Oof, and Wilson's skates. missed the net a number of times tonight. It is not the Wilson we've been used to seeing. The second power play will end in 10 seconds. The Blackhawks have done a good job here. LaRouche almost took Myers down. He had his Stick tangled in his skates. And the Blackhawks have done it. You got to give them their marks for that. They sure have. Boyd intercepts cleanly. No penalty call. Two on one. McClanahan. Pass. Save. What a great stop by Esposito. That was a big save right there. Reschner. Slot, backhand, save! Intercepted again. Hedberg this time. Little elbow by Gardner. Uh, McClanahan, I think it is. And he's starting to go a bit. This could get nasty, both simply because both teams are a little bit hot. Now there are some peacemakers out there. Gresham is not one of them. If I was the Rangers right now, every time that number two Randy Boyd's on, I'd be going after him. Marsh and Gresham are going pretty good. Gardner is still jawing at each other. It's spreading a little bit. Pavlich just shrug somebody off. And maybe it'll end. Looks like. With no calls, I believe. Well, it should be. Whoop, there will be penalties coming up. Penalties coming up. 11.56 to go in the hockey game. Look at this. Minnesota 8-5 now oh, in the third period. Oh, good Lord, what a game. <laughs> Boston 3-1 over Calgary in the second. Greshner will go with Marsh. They'll probably get Islanders ahead of L.A. 2-0 in the first period. Islanders on the road. Are they playing well, L.A.? Oh, boy. Or Islanders? They're playing. They're just doing everything well. I still say they just absolutely have the best goaltending in the league. Billy Smith's been superb. Yep. He's I climbed right up to the top of the goaltending ranks in the league. And he just seems to be getting better and better and better with age. That's right. There we go. You can, that's what John Davidson was talking about in between periods. 17-0-1. The Blackhawks... They haven't won a game. 
There's got to be a reason. I mean, I that the, seems to be the history all around the league this year. The Blackhawks also haven't lost a game leading two periods. They've won 15. That's yeah, right. I don't, you know, well, I don't remember anybody ever keeping stats like that before <laughs> or ever really realizing that maybe it was so evident before also, like three or four years ago or even last year. All right. Well, you're back to hockey here. Now they got two minutes each for what, Ruffy? Marsh, I guess so. I guess so. General nastiness. 5-2 the score. We're in the third period. It's four on four. O'Callaghan lost to Anderson. Oh, Anderson took his back. O'Callaghan is back. <laughs> Poked away from Larmer. That was a big poke check. Here's Boyd. Boyd is in. Anderson's got him wrapped up. Or Huberon has got him wrapped up. Anderson coming into the play now. Sutter. Shot. That's a score. The lights on. Oh, oh. oh Callahan's got somebody. He went after Dave Maloney. Oh, boy. Dave Maloney hit Larmer. There goes the bench. Oh, the bench is everything now. It's a bench emptying goal. The first Dave one I've Maloney. seen in a long time. I think Dave Maloney is really hurt. I think he got hit hard. Oh, Callahan went after him. Creamed him before he could really get set, and someplace under that mess, Dave Maloney bumped Larmer after Larmer deflected the puck in the net. O'Callaghan, in a very, very backstabbing type of a play, did he ever? really nailed David Maloney. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I was watching what happened. Dave Maloney, after Larmer scored, bumped into uh, Larmer, and O'Callaghan cross-checked Dave Maloney right across the face. I see the, tra the Ranger trainer has gotten out there. Bob Williams can't get in. They're still fighting. Both the penalty boxes have also emptied, and that's a serious problem and will be in the future. I tell you, they're calling for somebody to get out there right away. But the fighting's still going on. They can't stop it. And we haven't got a good shot. We can't tell you what's happening. We're seeing just what you're seeing. Well, some of the players in there are... Having cool heads, I see Mike Rogers trying to haul somebody off. Somebody is hurt. What they got to do is open everything up I'll there. I'll tell you what, so, something like this, if we see on the replay, O'Callaghan should get a suspension. You wouldn't believe for something That's like right. this. I don't understand him doing that. And I would say that whether it was a Ranger or a Blackhawk or any player in the I National Hockey League. I agree with you exactly, John. Doesn't matter who it is, that is uncalled for. This gets the blood boiling in one person. I tell you, I wish I was out there. Not that I'd do anything. Or I might try, though. Meantime, it is not over yet. Ronnie Gretzner is being held by two guys. He is just livid. But someplace down the bottom are two trainers, both the Chicago trainer and the Ranger trainer. And I don't believe these guys aren't stopping. I don't care whether, I don't care whether it's O'Callaghan Cal or, or not now. These the rest of these guys ought to peel off. They've got two hurt hockey players down there. That's right. And it's just idiocy. Bannerman and Weeks are standing there. Hanlon and Esposito, the other two goaltenders, are away from the practice. But both trainers are tending to one player. We can't see who it is. At least they've got him away from everything. There's a doctor going on the ice. It appears to be... Hold on to what you make sure. I don't know who it is. Yeah, you're right. I'm not sure. It's David Maloney, and they're helping him up right now. He's cut. He's he open. seems to have a, a towel over the left side of his face. At least he's up a little bit. He got cross-checked real I'll bad. tell you what, folks. Ronnie Greshner is uh, just livid. Dave Maloney's up on his feet, as we can see here. He obviously has a cut above the eye. Thank God he looks like he's all right. I'll tell you, I hope we get a replay of this. He bumped Larmer after Larmer scored. Nothing dirty. And O'Callaghan came in from the blue the line. for the Blackhawks. One of the Blackhawks was also hurt and down on the ice. That's O'Callaghan. Well, that's just a fight uh, they just broke he's up. He's not hurt. He's, he's going just... on there all the... And the Rangers want him. Look at him. Beck all. Does Beck want O'Callaghan? And Greshner. Look at Ronnie Greshner. He's got that back. I wish he'd get out of there. That's one of the worst backstabbing plays I've seen in my 11 years in the National Hockey League. But the fact remains, John, these guys ought to knock it off. Every single one of them. It's yeah. stupid. Now they're putting O'Callaghan down there with Dave Maloney. They better not. Because I know Dave Maloney, his temper is... This is the type of thing that gave hockey such a terrible name five or seven years ago. They cleaned it up to a large yep. extent by the change of penalties, and it's back again here tonight. Well, Myers missed the one call. The fans got involved. Chicago's losing at home. They're frustrated. And O'Callaghan, with a meathead move. Bannerman and, and Steve Weeks, what are they doing? Come on, you guys. 
this, when I played, we used to have a lot of this, and I didn't like it at all. I used to say, hey, what is this? It's not all-star wrestling. It's a game of hockey. Let's just break it up. You're right. Enough is enough now. Reschner has been stripped down all to his BVDs. But you're right. Mild-mannered Ron. Look at Hammond. Mild-mannered Ron really lost his cool tonight. He was furious well, I, mean, it's, I it's, understand it, John. I, I'm not... Believe me, I'm just saying that once it starts like this, yeah. and once you got to hurt hockey players, somebody's got to realize it's time to stop. Yeah, you're right. I totally agree with you there. But you know, Jimmy, there's so much more emotion on the ice than there is up here. Reshner's played with, with Maloney since their first year pro That's quite right. a number of years ago. And if we get a shot of this replay, I'm sure we'll be able to see everything. It'll clarify the air as to what happened. Greshner. There's Sutter and Greshner. Well, this could hurt both these teams with suspensions and everything else, too, in the future. Yes. Well, we, we might get another look, and maybe we carry it far enough to see what happened with O'Callaghan. Well, I'm not sure. We'll at least be able to see the initial hit where Dave Maloney bumped into Larmer. And from what I remember seeing it, it did not appear to be a, a dirty play. Okay, let's take a look at the goal. Watch it, it, Larmer now. He deflects it. There's yeah, right, and it may left. be a dirty shot. I'm not sure. We'll take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Here's the deflection. Now watch Maloney. No. Bumped into him. Uh, that's just that's a, it. What's he supposed to do? Okay, he just bumped into him now. Top of your screen. Let's see. No, we it doesn't it. go they long stopped. enough. Uh, we don't have it right now. Anyway, Limer scored the goal from Sutter and Boyd. And I'll tell you, I've, I've seen a few things in hockey. I've been around a lot. I don't like to see things like but, that you know, if, at all. If I can that's say something. That's what you hit with the stick. That's right. If I can Stop. say one thing, Phil, one thing I like about it, the only thing I like about it is the Rangers stuck together as a team. And that's not a very good thing to say in a situation, but you've got to look for a little light at the end of the tunnel. The only thing I like about it is they're not going to meet each other again this year. <laughs> that's a good point. But don't think that guys, guys don't forget things like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't forget things like that. There's, I would rather see a guy... I would rather see a guy, if he's going to fight, fight. Not with the stick. That's brutal. So Larmer scored that goal as 19th from Sutter and Boyd at 8.40 of the third period. Closes a gap to 5-3 in favor of the Rangers. Boy, I'll tell you, it's also going to be interesting to see who the first people off the respective benches were. I because Mike Allison. Yeah, I think he was too. And that will result in a suspension, I believe. And leaving the penalty box is a problem. That's true. That's another two guys off the penalty box. One of the things we do know, Dave Maloney got up on his feet. and He, he was cut. He was cut. No doubt about that. So. And we're checking it out, and we will let you know as soon as we know. Uh, he was helped off, but at least uh, he seemed to be all right. I worried about a back injury or a shoulder injury, something like that. That's Hopefully uh, just a couple of yeah. stitches, and he'll be all right. Ronnie Gresham just threw the Blackhawk glove up in the stands. He's got to be careful. That'll be a penalty. Fuck. Now, you see on the home side, number five, they don't have room to put up to 10 minutes, so they put eight minutes and then two minutes. That two minutes will run first, and then the eight minutes will go. But there's only 11 minutes and 20 seconds to play. He's also got a match, which well, is important. Well, that's what it is. That's a match. It's a 10-minute oh, match. Up the two, you're adding us two together. I thought yeah. he had some additional on top no, no. of the match. I thought it's, he had something they additional. Don't, they haven't got room to put 10 minutes, so they add it up. And that's what I think probably all the discussion was. But for the time being, they'll be skating three on three. For a long time being. <laughs> the Rangers will get their men back in four minutes. They'll have five skaters, or eligible at least, if they got enough on the bench. One on one, break out to the left side. This is Hedberg coming in. Hedberg toward the net and wide. Wilson. It is three on three. Allison's penalty will not start to one of the other's ends. Shot by Savard wide. Oh, that and was John close. and Phil talked about it before. This can turn the whole game around for Chicago. Three on three situation. I'm going to love to watch this Savard play. It's like having your own rink. Savard across the blue line. Shot high off a stick into the crowd. Big Willie Huber with his reach deflected that up over top. I kind of like watching three on three hockey. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Dennis Savard, this is when he uh, shines. The other guy would be Rutzelainen. He would shine at a situation like this also. Yeah, he was on earlier, and he just jumped off for a change. Don't forget, he's coming off the flu himself, and he may be a little tired this late in the hockey game. He's got to be careful he doesn't 
make a shift too long. You saw Blaisdell in the penalty box. He's probably serving Ronnie Gresner's penalties. Beck. Or Allison's. Beck is in there. McClanahan's in. So one of these guys, Allison and McClanahan, are serving the penalties for Gresner and Allison. Allison. I'm sorry, McClanahan and Blaisdell. The Allison penalty hasn't started yet. And will not, I guess, what, for 44 seconds when the first of Gresner's penalties will expire. Now oh, what's the problem? The problem the is we started this hockey game tonight. That's why they're checking the clock now to find out why the clock has not moved in Allison's penalty. That's what they're looking at. Okay. Drop the puck, and here we go. Pavlich, Rutzelainen, and Laidlaw are out there. This is Wilson. Wilson kicks it free. Running in now is Brown. Wilson shot. Why? Boy, he's open now, isn't he? That Wilson talking all night about why he wasn't shooting the shot. He's got it now. But well, he's got to hit the net with it. Yeah, it that's keeps, not a yeah. bad idea. He keeps missing it. Laidlaw, slowly, to Pavlich. Pavlich is out. He's got Rutzelainen. Rutzelainen. Around Wilson. Can't get the shot away. Good move by Wilson. Great check by Wilson. Pavlich Allison, just Allison's penalty has started. They did adjust it. Pass over to the right-hand side. Wilson's got a shot again if he wants it. Soft shot wide. Rebound behind the net. This is Laidlaw. Laidlaw and Savard. And Pavlich. Two on two. They come out. Pavlich across the red line. And back again. Rangers have a two-goal lead. They can afford to be a little bit careful here. They don't need the extra goal. Huber coming down slowly. Chicago has changed. That's Boyd on there against Huber. Huber cracks one. Good save. Good what wrist shot, shot by Huber. Didn't think he had that wrist shot. Boyd. Rangers still have three skaters. Chicago's got three. Roots line and takes his man in. This is Boyd reaching for the puck. And Huber's there first. Huber and Boyd. Savard hasn't gone off yet. Erickson being held as he comes down. I'd be surprised if they call penalties, but you never can tell. Murray across. Savard's now been on for a minute 20 straight. In a minute and 16 seconds, Ranger will get another man back. Here comes Boyd. Boyd might get a shot away. Boyd in front. Knock wide open. Score! Bob Berry scores the goal. Randy Boyd made a play of the guy I've been picking on all night. But he just don't muscle Tommy Laidlaw. Here comes Boyd. Now watch Tommy Laidlaw. Or excuse me, it's Roots Alignan he outmuscled. Take that back, and there comes Bobby Murray. See if we get another angle of this. Tommy Laidlaw again. Well, well, Roots Alignan's got his own man. It's a three-on-three -three situation. It's a, it's a tough play not to try and break up the pass or whatever, but Tommy had Bob Murray high in the slot area, and Laidlaw let him go. And Murray ended up with a puck. Tommy tried to help out Roots Alignan, but two wrongs never make a right in the game of hockey. And Bob Murray jumped on the puck and put it through the legs of Hanlon. 5-4, we got us a good hockey game. Look at that. Murray scores the goal. Boyd will get one assist. For sure. Boyd just gets the assist. The time of that goal, 11-10. Okay, let's take a look at that, John, like you're talking about. Folks, watch number two, Boyd, for the Blackhawks in white. Oh, I guess we don't have it. I don't know what they're talking about now. Boy, it's right. getting noisy in here, isn't it? Yeah, oh, boy. Bobby Murray trying to make a point. He's going to the bench. It'll still be three on three for a minute and four seconds. I like this number seven, your rim chuck. Yeah, he's, he's a quick hockey player. Three on three situation again. He could be dangerous. Rutsch line it across for Laidlaw. This is Hedberg. Rutsch line it coming down the slot. Laidlaw. That's your M Chuck in there. Good checker. Got to go forward Good with checker. the puck. They've got to move it out of there. They sure do. Brown. Your M Chuck. Wilson will have the shot. Save! What a stop! <laughs> What a stop that was. That's an All-American save. Holy oh. Max. And Wilson shot it up high because the Ranger defenseman was sliding in there. He shot it over top. Watch Wilson. He walks in. Watch a defenseman slide. Watch a glove hand. 
man alive. John, does that hit you in the glove or do you see it? Are going? you kidding? Come what a on. save that was. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes it hits you, but you know, he was ah, in a position and he had his glove in the proper area. That's right. He's really been playing his angles much better than he has at any point in his career. Right. Base off in the Rangers' end. A one goal lead now. Wilson in deep, in the slot and through. That might come clear. Just. Brown is back. Brown. Drop pass. Surprised he didn't go back to Wilson right away. He should have. Yep. Uh oh, break away. Break away. Pavlik all by himself. They won't catch him. Save. Big stop. Unbelievable stop. Here comes your M Chuck. In the Rangers' end. Rangers have four skaters on the ice. Four for four. The Rangers are going to have a lot of power play. Four skaters for Chicago. Murray shot in front of stop. Turn around shot goes wide. Blackhawks have to score on this or they're going to have to score shorthanded. Exactly right, Here Phil. Here comes Huber. In 46 seconds, they'll be shorthanded. Now down to the red line. Knocked away from Wilson. Blaisdell. Giveaway right in front almost. Oh, boy. Oh, bad pass. Rangers leading 5-4. Back to center zone. Boyd across. Murray back to Boyd. This is Boyd. Hedberg score checking. There's Anderson. Savard. Laidlaw's got him. Shot wide behind the net. Rangers should be able to get this one clear. Here comes Anderson across the red line. Anderson, shot on net. Save. Play in the corner. And the Ranger board is wiped clean. Power play now. Power play for the Rangers. Savard, shot. Save. Rangers backing in on the play. They've got to be more aggressive. Rutzelainen coming down the slot. Shot back in. Save. He got a piece. Tremendous game now with Huber at the red line. Blackhawks can't afford to ice it either. No. Nope. They've got to go after him. Laidlaw, shot, save, rebound, save. Still loose, whistle is blown. Well, here we go, the Rangers right now, they had a six minute advantage. Now they've got five minutes and 22 seconds advantage. There are 6.03 left in the third period. The Blackhawks, to tie this game, I think at all intents and purposes, have to score shorthanded. Yes, sir. And there's the Rangers power play stats, and they've had, this is their second major power play one for six so far they had a five minute power play earlier in the game did not score so now they still have 522 left in the power play as Phil said only 603 left in the game got to move the puck around but you got to go forward with a puck Phil you don't want to get right. caught backing up in your own zone I mean Chicago do have a little bit of emotion going for them now some very quick aggressive hockey players you got to go forward with a puck I'm going to make a prediction here. I think the Rangers are going to score on a power play. I got five minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> Aside from the melee, it's been a pretty entertaining hockey game. That's right. It has. Pavlich on the draw with Don Maloney on his right, Erickson on his left. The Rouge is back at left point. Gardner tries to come out. The Rouge breaks it up. Don Maloney. Back out to right point. Huber reaches for it, pokes it ahead. Rangers have control of the power play. Good checking by Chicago. Huber across. LaRouche can't hold the bouncing puck. Erickson and Pavlich both go out to Brown. Patterson on the far side. Try to come out. Or is that Preston? It's Patterson. Boy, those Hawks are aggressive with their penalty killing. And you're right. They had a chance to ice it there. Patterson said no. They were going to go up with the puck and try and make a play. You're right, Bill. They have to. You, 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 can't, you can't sit down. You're losing 5-4. You've got to go after them. Well, there is Patterson. I right got there. some good news on Dave Maloney from downstairs. Ten stitches in his chin and otherwise fine. That is good news. Free puck. LaRouche. Shot. Screen. Deflected wide. And cleared. Handling gets into it. What he's going to put in his own net. He Almost. <laughs> Here comes LaRouche down the slot. Pavlich. 
Onside. Esposito tries to get it clear. Puck is cleared by Chicago. They do ice the puck here. Well, the short hand is one of a target holding, holding going yep. on there. Five minutes to go. Pavlich coming out. 4.57 to go in the hockey game. Boyd and Hedberg came together. Hedberg's got a shot. Save! Oh, a dandy. We've seen some goals tonight. Huber. Pavlich. Murray tries to clear. Goes back up for Ritzelein inside. Behind him. Was never offside. Boy, thought it was. Sevard. 4.27 to go in the game. Rangers had the power play. Let's align it. Shot toward the net. Save! That was a good save. Edberg back. Huber. Let's align it free at right point. Huber to let's align it. Huber. Shoots. Score! There you go, folks. Bob Murray had lost his stick. And he was so exhausted. He's standing in front of Esposito. He's trying to block the shot. And he should have let the, you know, the goaltender see the shot. And Willie Huber blasts it in with Mark Pavlich standing right in front of the net. And the Rangers go in a lead now 6-4. to four, And there are still 3 minutes and 20 seconds left you, in the power play. You know, Phil, that puck had been in the Chicago zone for almost 2 minutes. Watch big Willie Huber blast it here. See who's standing in front. May have been deflected by Pavlich. Jeez, Nonetheless, yeah, through the legs of Tony Esposito. But a good shot by Huber. Down on the ice, on the net like you want it to be, whereas Wilson has not been hitting the net for Chicago. A big difference. Runs a line in the cross. Robbie Petorek. Power play continues, of course. 3.46 to go on the game. Uh -oh. Anderson onside with Petorek in front. Save. Rebound comes through. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the hockey game. Rangers leading by a score of 6-4. to Uh-oh. Huber's the only one back. Wilson's coming down the left side. Save. Was that a big one? Look at the angles he's playing again. He's right yes, out sir. there on top of it. 3.18 to go in the hockey game. We'll be back. After the faceoff in the Rangers end, Murray golfs it when it comes loose for Sundstrom. Laidlaw. Willie Huber coming out. Good pass to center zone. Erickson's pass deflected in center by Sear. Erickson's got it again. Going to be a shot by Huber possible. Score! Huber gunned one. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. They should send a letter to Mr. O'Callaghan saying thank you. Both power play goals. O'Callaghan with, right. with his match penalty. Exactly. Rangers can say thanks. They sure can. Huber scored again. Willie Huber scores again. He walks in. Absolutely no one around. Erickson passes it over to him. Now look at this. Good, no one. Good snapshot, Phil. Walks in and beats Esposito on the far side. And with Mark Pavlich just absolutely wide open. Yeah, used he? him as a decoy. There are two on the, on the wall dinner. Tony can just hope. Yeah, uh, Willie Huber scored his sixth and seventh goal, the sixth one at 15.59 from Rutzelainen and Sundstrom. And uh, and then this one, Huber scored, and we'll give you who got the assist on that. I think Erickson. Phew, two power play goals in a row for Willie Huber. Laidlaw lays it off and takes it back. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third period. Seven to four, Rangers. Esposito's got the puck. Blaisdell gets it loose. Laidlaw. Rutzelina. Shot. Wide. That'll come clear. Hey, Tommy. Look at Hanlon. Is he out of the net a little bit? Rutzelina. That, that penalty, I guess, won the game for the Rangers tonight. Well, you know, Chicago just scored to cut it to 5-3, and they had momentum. And then he does a bonehead play like that. It just doesn't make sense. Sundstrom. Screen shot high into the crowd. We've okay. got two minutes and three seconds to go. Huber scored again his seventh from Erickson at 17.07, and that was Willie's second power play. 
Oh, boy, you know what? What, Bill? I, I'm as tired maybe as the players tonight. <laughs> Not John Davidson. He's going to run up and down the stairs a few more times. Oh. starting to get into shape. <laughs> you know, we had a little game on the ice today. Oh, I don't want <laughs> to Wade Thomas and I that. went against Phil Esposito and Joe Bacchino. Steve Weeks stayed out. Just, we just happened to win it in the third period, right, Lucky. Joe? <laughs> wondering why you're bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, right. Joey's fault. <laughs> One fifty-eight to go. <laughs> it's not what Joey said, Phil. I know, I know. That's Rangers what I'm will saying. be flying home tomorrow morning. Philadelphia, Friday night at Madison Square Garden. The Rouge comes in and can't quite catch the puck. And the 31st in Buffalo and Washington next week, Monday afternoon. Shot. Save. 137 to go. Beamster coming out. Wilson in front. Beamster. Shot by Brown is stopped by Huber. 113 remains. Jimmy, you mentioned the Flyers. You know, they're 10-5-3 at home, 10-5-3 on the road, and they're hot. They're playing well. That should be a great contest Friday. The veterans are playing beautifully for them. Their whole team has really settled down and playing well. 53 seconds to go. Turn the wrist over. Shot toward the net. Comes wide left side. Tommy, wide, Tommy. Back to Laidlaw. And the game will end in 38 seconds. Most of the fans have headed for the exits now. The last time the Rangers won here was on March 31st of 82 when they beat the Hawks 4-1. It's a long time. Uh-huh. Three hours and 15 minutes of hockey is a long time, too. It'll be over in uh, 13 seconds now. Four seconds to go. Shot high off the glass, and the game is over. 7-4 final. Rangers on top. They return home to play the Flyers. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I, I've seen a lot of hockey, and I thought the Rangers played extremely well tonight. I thought Glenn Hamlin did a good job. And... We have to what pick our player. Say? Got to pick Pierre LaRouche as our player. We forgot about well, that. Uh, we'll get to that in just a bit. Uh, why don't we do it? Pierre LaRouche? Sure. Why not? Why? Getty player. Why? Because I thought he played well. <laughs> All right. He got him He got him going early. Uh, we'll do the whole thing officially when we come back. We're going to argue about this when we come back. So the Rangers have won the hockey game. Back here for a final wrap-up in just a moment. <laughs> 